Demonstration Diesel. Oliver returned from the works feeling very sorry for himself. He was embarrassed that the trucks pushed him into the turntable well. He hoped the other engines wouldn't tease him, but upon his arrival, he found their attention was elsewhere. In Oliver's absence, Diesel came to the yard. He was greeted with little enthusiasm, but he didn't care a bit. Duck was watching from a siding when Oliver arrived. You pay no mind to him, Duck glared. He's a menace and a must to avoid. That was easier said than done. Oliver was having a drink when Diesel slunk alongside. Well, well, he sneered, the famous Oliver. It's truly an honor to be graced by your presence. Oliver scowled. Imagine braving hordes of us diesels just to flounder in a turntable because of mere trucks. From what I've heard, you're no expert with trucks either, Oliver quipped. You must have heard it all wrong, scoffed Diesel. Anyhow, you're lucky your little spill happened here. On the other railway, you'd have been turned into amusement. Enthusiasts love seeing our breakdown gangs in action. We topple useless engines over, let the cranes rescue them, then do it all again. You'd be right at home amongst the scrap. Diesel cackled away. Oliver was furious, but remembered Duck's words and knew it best to remain silent. Workmen were replacing worn tracks in the sidings. Oliver shunted the cranes wherever they were needed and fetched flatbeds of new rails. He wasn't keen on working with trucks, but at least they gave him reprieve from Diesel. Keep those cranes ready, he called as the Great Western Engine puffed past the turntable. Oliver's ready for his encore. At least I'm being useful, Oliver jeered. This yard's a mess. And I suppose you could do better, glared Diesel. It'll be ship soon. Trucks don't trouble me. I keep them in line, unlike some engines. He snickered away. unaware the trucks had heard everything. The workmen made good progress. They'd ripped up an old siding, ready to lay new rails after their tea break. Unfortunately, the points weren't set properly, and along came Diesel with a line of trucks. I'll show that scrap on wheels a thing or two, he cackled. We'll show you! We'll show you! shouted the trucks. Without warning, they bumped and banged into each other. Diesel surged forwards, swerved on the points, and... Crash! When the dust settled, there was Diesel, toppled on his side. The trucks, who'd remained upright, chortled with delight. Diesel said nothing. He felt sore and silly. He felt sillier still when Oliver arrived... Good thing we had the cranes at the ready, eh, Diesel? A very good thing, Oliver. It was the fat controller. He pointed at Diesel. I expected you to keep this yard in order, not make a muddle of it. Were it not for the rails needing to be laid, we'd leave you there to reflect on your behavior. Diesel gulped, but before the fat controller could say more, a group of boys walked up. Pardon us, sir. May we take some pictures? We've always wanted to watch a breakdown gang at work. The fat controller agreed. The boys' cameras clicked and flashed as the men set to work. Diesel felt most uncomfortable. Is this one of those, uh, demonstrations you'd mentioned, Diesel? Smiled Oliver. I thought only useless engines took part in those affairs. Ah, well, at least you provide an amusement. Far from being amused, Diesel thought it best to say no more.